Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have perspective. So it says, you'll realize that there's only one thing you can change, your perspective, and find peace in knowing that what you have endured has purpose, even if you do not understand it yet. So, ancestors. Ah, so I feel like what you guys don't understand yet I, obviously your ancestors know a lot more than you do about whatever's going on in your situation they know about what's been going on behind the scenes like what you possibly didn't see i feel like your your ancestors want success for you they want you to get what you deserve they want you to get what you want and i feel like you guys may not understand why certain things are happening right now but your ancestors do and it says your ancestors are rooting for your success as they watch you break ancestral karma so they're proud of you guys they feel like you guys are uh reaching new levels of growth or whatever it you know then, then your are then your mom did and then their mom did and you know what i mean so it's like yeah you're breaking ancestral karma and they're proud of you it says one step at a time more gets cleared and more growth sinks in so they're proud of your growth all right uh we do have discovery yeah you're gonna start to discover within you what was always within you okay probably what your ancestors had passed to you or given to you um you will discover within you the immense knowledge and skills that remain undeveloped, unlocking the magician. Some of you guys have uh, ancestors that are witches or warlocks, whatever, you know, the something like that. Power, powerful ancestors here. Yeah, you will discover within you the immense knowledge and skills that remain undeveloped, unlocking the magician within you that will lead to emotional fulfillment and newfound confidence. You're going to be discovering, you know, and with, that you have had every, it's always been within you, the ability to create the life that you wanted or manifest whatever it is that you've been desiring. You do have good news coming in, Spirit says, says you're going to receive some good news that will make you very happy. Answer the call when the time comes. It will change your life for the better. What is the nature of this good news? Oops, of course, we have courtship. Your love life will begin to blossom by taking those first steps. Towards intimacy and allowing your connection to gradually develop into something steady and consistent without rushing into love. So for a lot of you, you've been desiring to settle down, have somebody that you can build a life with, build a relationship with, um, build a connection with, um, take you seriously, date you, like be in an actual relationship. And Spirit says it's coming in. You're getting good news in regards to that. Um, Spirit is saying don't try to rush into this, though. Yeah, or don't try to rush into anything. It says you're ready to bring the inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures. You'll receive, you'll realize that you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. So they're just wanting you to kind of have fun and enjoy your life. Anything else they need to know about this courtship that's coming in? Travel. So for some of you, you're going to be like maybe dating somebody. Some of you guys are going to be dating somebody. It's almost like you guys aren't going to be rushing into a relationship this person's going to be very supportive you guys could be traveling with this person or you, there may be distance between you and this person there could be an opportunity to travel that will break up your daily routine and also help you discover and consider fresh ideas you hadn't thought of before so maybe like once you guys start spending time with whoever this person is your perspective on them will change and i don't think it's going to be in a bad way we have support here it says someone will come into your life to offer their support and stimulate your personal growth their act of kindness will help you see and believe in the magic within you Mm, guys i'll be honest with you some of you guys like, i do see sexual energy here i do see you having like possibly like a sexual connection with this person yeah a new partnership is making its way into your life who will see your true potential and help you reach it this could turn into a very beneficial partnership possibly even romantic i just kind of see you guys in a relationship where you're just having fun and like i do feel like it will you will learn lessons in this connection i do feel like it will stimulate your growth i don't know what's so what is this leading up to an awakening you will find yourself waking up to a new awareness and deeper consciousness that will transform your life and all your beautiful light to emerge i'm i'm gonna be honest with you yeah i knew it that's confirmation i did transition is on the back of the deck so what you guys coming in i know this may not be what some of you guys want to know or like want to hear but what some of you guys have coming in is somebody that you're going to start dating somebody and it's going to be a transitional relationship. It's not going to be somebody you're with long term. This person's going to kind of help you. You're going to learn lessons from this person. I see you having a lot of fun with this person. You may even travel with them. I see you guys dating and having a lot of fun. And maybe that's exactly what you need right now. Not something that is like, you know, super serious. Um, you know, it's just kind of like going with the flow and just enjoying your time with this person. And it's like you're actually going to be like kind of 
realizing some things while you're with this person, you're going to be, yeah, I think this person's going to be a, bit, a good support for you. We have transition here. So yeah, you're undergoing a significant life change or entering into a time of transition. Growth will only be possible by suspending your desire to fill the uncomfortable void that you feel. Yeah, somebody, see, what, what I'm getting here too with the void aspect There's another person in the mix here because we do have the past here. The, a situation or someone from the past will return either to finish unfinished business or give you closure. You will have to decide if it's worth revisiting or leaving it in the past. Yeah, teach. Home, the past. It's a miracle. Somebody is coming back and this is something that you wanted. But it's like you got to let these changes happen. It's like there's somebody that you really want to be with that's going to return to you. But it says that it will only, the growth or like the growth that you want to see in this connection will only, and the, the growth in you, the growth in this person will only happen if you just, you have to suspend your desire to fill the uncomfortable void that you feel. So you feel like something's missing without this person's in, person in your life. Find ways to fill that void for yourself. And maybe, like I said, this connection that's coming in, this person you're going to be dating is going to be a good distraction or a good support system for you while you're going through this. It doesn't even have to be romantic although i do feel like you may be you will probably be dealing with this person on a romantic level for some of you it could be just like a partnership it could be a friendship but i do feel like it's somebody you may be dating i do see sexual energy like but i don't see you trying to like be too serious with this person or it won't get to that point Th this is just something you're going to be doing you're going to be learning le your own lessons in this other situation because we do have diversion here too while there's something being worked out behind the scenes and you're being protected from whatever is going on behind the scenes yeah, it's like you're being called to go or like being guided to go down a different path. It says it's okay to change your mind and move in a different direction. What is brewing will change the course of your life moving forward. Yeah, you'll know when it's time. Yeah, it's not the right time for you and whoever this person that you really want to be with. It's not the right time. So I do see you guys kind of going down a different direction and dating somebody else. And I see you having a lot of fun with this person. I see you traveling with them. Like, I feel like they're going to be a good support system for you. Like, I see that. I feel like you, and even if you and this person don't end up together long term, you guys may end up just being it'll be good friends you know what I mean in the in the future I don't know but I see that it's something beneficial but what you don't know is that there's things going on behind the scenes it says the life may seem uneventful to you it doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes while you rest trust and surrender to the universe and then we have protection trust that you are being divinely guided right now there will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life so I feel like you guys don't really know what the future holds for you and this person that you really want to be with. The one that you have that, the one that you desire, the one that you've been wishing for, hoping that things will change with. There's a lot of uncertainty surrounding that connection. And Spirit says that's kind of like, but they know exactly what's going on, right? Your ancestors know exactly what's going on. They're protecting you from whatever that person's got going on right now. Or they just know that this person's not good for you. They need to grow. They need to change. They need to awaken. Um, and until they do that, they're not going to be a good fit for you. Or they're going to, they're just trying to protect you from this person. So I definitely see you guys dating somebody else. And I see that it will actually be something very good for you and possibly, you know, I think for this person as well. It looks mutually beneficial. I don't see you guys rushing into anything. I see you guys having a lot of fun. Um, let's see. What else do they need to know about this situation, Spirit? Mm. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, let's move this over here. What's this? We have the Three of Cups. Clarify the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Seven of Swords. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Four of Swords. 
Mm, yeah, do you know why you're you're not able to be with this person right now that you really want to be with? It's because this person's resisting change. They're resisting an ending. They have a third party. There's somebody else that they're with. Whoever this other person is, either they're with this person for money reasons or they have somebody that's using them for money. They're being greedy or there's somebody around them that's very jealous and greedy and like... I think this person also knows that you're no longer tolerating being juggled, okay? Like they know this. Or there's a need for you to no longer tolerate being juggled because that's exactly what this person is doing. I definitely feel that there is some, like you need to remove yourself from this third party situation. Heavy third party energy here. I feel like somebody is trying to hide that they're not happy. Like somebody is trying to hide maybe from a third party that they're not happy in a situation. I don't know why. Somebody has been doing a lot of thinking and they feel like they want to make a move, but this person's wearing a mask with you. Yeah. I think you guys are sick of this person coming towards you in this energy. And that's probably why you guys are going to decide to kind of stay withdrawn from this person. You feel like they're going to try to put you in a third party situation again. Maybe this person feels like you are putting them in a third party situation. Because I definitely do see you guys dating somebody else. But they are definitely refusing to close out some type of cycle that will restore balance. Or it's closing out something that will give them, them abil the ability to do right by you. All right. Anything else? We have the eight of cups in reverse. So somebody's returning here. What about the Eight of Cups in reverse? The two of they don't even know what the hell they want though. So somebody's returning to you. Yeah, I definitely feel like Spirit is telling you to go down a different path with that diversion card. They're telling you that you will have two paths before you. That somebody else, it will be this past person that you do really love and want to be with, but you just know that they're just probably not ready or they're they have a third party, or there's another path to go down. And I feel like this person also is at a crossroads between you and something else, you and somebody else. I do see them returning, but they haven't made up their mind about you. And they still have a lot of fears. They're kind of doing this very impulsively. I do see them taking action towards you. They're going to play it safe, though. And I definitely feel they're coming towards you, um, hiding from you, that they're very unhappy. We have the Queen of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It's going to be very, um, let's see, Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you guys are either going to block this person or it's like, what about the Eight of Wands in reverse? manipulation mm -hmm. it's going to be very important for you to this person listen to, be firm on your boundaries okay and be very clear and direct with this person if you do choose to speak with them some of you guys are not going to choose to speak with them with the eight of wands reverse you have clarity when it comes to this person they come in and they create these illusions. I think this person is going to maybe be telling you that things are going to move forward, that there, you know, there won't be delays. And there, there's just some type of manipulation here. Yeah, they're not stable. And you, you've seen this, who this person is. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to choose to release this person. Oh, you see, I think that they may be saying that they, they released somebody else. Yeah, we have the can, Queen of Swords here. We don't want there. There's definitely a third party in the mix that they need to leave behind or they're afraid to leave that situation behind because of possibly money reasons. Yeah, they're really up in their head when it comes to money in this third party. For some of you, they gotta go, they're gonna have to go to court. They think somebody's gonna sue them or take them to court. I don't know. What's justice? The three of wands. They're maybe waiting on some type of court proceeding or they're waiting on something. They're waiting on the mm, do they feel like they got to make something up to somebody first? Are they waiting until they like get even or how do I say that? What are they? What's the justice card? What are they struggling with here? It's just this person. Maybe this person just they're like in this energy where they're not really ready to give you an equal give and take or give you something balanced to be quite honest with you. Um... Hmm. What can we look at here? Where is that deck? Oh, shit. Hold up here. Oof. All right. 
See, they need more time. See, they're trying to figure something else out. It's like they're trying to figure out something else in another situation. And it's like, while they're trying to figure that out, it's like they're trying to, like, they want you to give them more time. Or they're trying to, like, get you to kind of wait on them. Why do they need more time? No second chances. Done trying, done with the BS enough. Avoiding an escapism. It's like they're not wanting to come to terms with something. They're not facing the reality of a situation. Yeah, knows your word. Treating you right. I'm almost like this person doesn't want to think that. I think this person was thinking. While they're trying to avoid and escape, like taking it. It's like they're, they're avoiding making some type of decision or making some type of change in their life. While they're doing that, they also are trying to keep you from finding somebody else that is going to treat you right and that will value you. It's like they keep dragging this out. Like, I just need more time and I'm still figuring some things out. And I just, I'm still, I'm, I'm removing things from my life and blah, blah, blah. This person in a nutshell is stringing you along. And I feel like you're done with this. So now what? Oh, so we have children involved. That could be part of the reason why they're in that other situation or whatever. But you could, they're, they're, you could definitely be dealing with somebody that has children or wants, or they're just immature. What about children involved? Trying to score. Ooh, what? I think that this person with the ch children involved and the trying to score, this person is just very immature. They're very immature. They're very, that they're not, they have, they lack emotional depth. Yeah. They don't like anything deep. I do think that they're wanting, they, they feel more comfortable in surface level, purely sexual type relationships. Yeah. But we have surprising events. What is that about? What are they cut off guard about? Past life karma. Is some, is it karma coming back in to bite their ass? What is past life that feeling abandoned? It's almost like this person's about is ready. It's like they're finally karma's about to hit them. Like they may have been getting little bits of karma, but it's like karma's about to. It's like they thought that this person think they, that you would never find anybody else, or that they were they were delusional guys. Like I don't know. This person is thinking that they'll be able to come towards you, have a surface level relationship with you, that they'll be able to just sleep with you and just, and just be that. But they're about to be caught off guard because. Karma is about to catch up with them. And now they're about to feel like they're abandoned, that you that you don't want them anymore. They're about to be really sad. It's like they never wanted this to be completely over between the two of you. It's like they just wanted you to keep waiting on them while they were avoiding and trying to and, and being in, a, in escapism energy. Like they were not even trying to fix whatever they needed to fix to be with you. <laughs> yep, so you're in this and now they're about to find it, find out that you are possibly dating this other person or that they're going to think you have your other options or you're you're with somebody else. Yeah, thinking of you, daydreaming and missing you. What is that? String I took told you, stringing along. Dragging out a relationship, plan B, broken promises. Yeah, be careful. They may come in and tell you that they've been thinking about you. They're going to hit you with one of those messages like, hey, I just want to let you know that I've just been thinking about you and I just, I hope that you're doing okay. That That's their attempt to try to weasel their way back in. <laughs> yeah. It's like they see you as marriage material, the total package, but they are still tethered. To this unhealthy situation, this situationship, tricky situation, toxic connection, codependency. Having these feelings and emotions for you, hoping to always hear from you. Huh. Wow. Anything else that they need to know about this? Love gates are open. What's the subject with my collective? You're manifesting love. I'm telling you. You know what's actually manifesting this person to come towards you in the right way? It's not going to happen right now. I definitely see you dating somebody else for a while. But it's jealousy, guys. Once they try to come in and they think that they are, they're going to be able to have access to you and they don't have it anymore, they're going to they're gonna be like, oh, shit, you know, the collective is with another person. Now, all of a sudden, all these feelings and emotions are going to hit them that they were suppressing. Yeah, protective, scared to lose you. So now they're thinking marriage. Now they're thinking commitment. Now they're thinking about the future. Yep. Maybe this person, somebody, I feel like either you're focused on work and money and finances or they needed to focus on that. But yeah, we have, they maybe chose something that had to do with money over a situation that was actually in an, in an, an eternal bond. Love of a lifetime, unforgettable. 
Yeah. I'm going to get um, a couple of these. And then I am going to take this over to the extended reading. Yep, new perspective. Yep. They've gained a new perspective and they now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors. Definitely, yeah, energy cords. Despite the distance between you, they feel the energetic cords that is keeping you two connected. Feeling very tempted to come towards you. Yeah. They're about to remove themselves from a situation, finally. Even if there is children involved. We have dreams, see? Yep. They've been dreaming so much about you and wanting to manifest their dreams into reality. One more. Or I guess they said two more. Yeah, you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. What does it say? Hmm. Ancestral karma. They are clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. They could have been in a, a line of people that chose money over love or... They, that's what they always thought that they should choose money over love or they have like they come from a very like, like a, all their like mom like their mom their dad their aunt whatever they come from emotionally unavailable people or people that use people i don't know it's something weird like that guys getting into relationships for the wrong reasons yeah choices there is a choice they have to make they know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't so they're feeling the pressure yeah, and feeling this freaking, they're about to start coming undone. Like if this mask that they've been wearing, them hiding, they're not going to be able to hide these feelings anymore. We have overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. Coming apart, meaning you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. They feel feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Yep. Yep. They, they definitely have, like, there's like a heavy, like, they have a lot of passion for you. And there's like a strong sexual connection between you and this person and but they also view you as somebody that they could be a power couple with or this is how they're going to start looking at things but they needed to clear they had a lot of decluttering to do and they were resisting this but spirit says when you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible so if you thought this person would never change and they would never get their shit together spirit says you're about to witness the impossible made possible doesn't mean you have to take this person back but um it's something about them feeling like they've lost you to somebody else or that they're about to, or they're going to maybe even see you dating somebody else that is like triggering something in this person. Like everything that they were trying to suppress and, you know, avoid and hide. It's like, they're not going to be able to do it anymore. Once they see you like move it, once they, they see you with this new person or they, they, they feel you've moved on to somebody new. It's like, they're going to, it's going to completely, I don't know why this person was in this delusion. They were delusional. They thought that you were never going to be with anybody else. Or they thought that they were doing a pretty good job at stringing you along, trying to keep, like, try, keeping you in a certain place. But they're about to have, like, they're about to get, an, it's going to be an ego death for them. This is about, they're about to realize, like, it, shit wasn't what they thought it was. And they they may have really messed up. They probably they did. They messed up. And it's going to really, it's going to trigger, it's like all that stuff that they've been trying to hide and suppress, it's going to come up to the surface. Mm-hmm. And if they've been trying to avoid making a decision, they're going to feel like they have no choice but to make a decision because they don't want to lose you. 